Hi, this is Monster Restorer 91, and today we're gonna repair a sink garbage disposal. When you turn it on, you could hear a humming sound that uh, it's not working, so it means something is clogged inside. So, what we need to do first to diagnose it, we have to remove the hoses and the piping, and the things you will need is a uh, Okay, the things that you will need for this kind of job is a set of screwdrivers, a 3 8 ratchet, and a 10 millimeter socket, a, a pry bar, pliers, plumbing for plumbing, and a bucket. So you can hold on the water once you start to remove the hoses and the piping. But first, before you remove everything, make sure to disconnect the the garbage disposal sink. Make sure it's disconnected, that it leads to this. So it's disconnected, so I'm safe, that nothing will happen. So first put in the bucket. And start removing the hose. Get ready for the water to start pouring out. Okay, now loosen this one. It could be a messy job and also a stinky job, so you want to wear a mask, you could wear a mask so you don't have to breathe all this in. There's two bolts, one on each side, you lose it counterclockwise. You could also use a flat, a flat screwdriver if you want to, if you don't want to use a socket. So we'll do it like this. Don't lose the bolts. Put them somewhere that you're gonna find them easy. You won't drop it in the hole or in the bucket. All right. This one, you turn it clockwise so you can make sure that nothing's clogged in here So let's take a look now if it's clogged right here in the hose. We're gonna pour water inside and we'll see if it, something comes out. So nothing is clogged in here. So this is not the problem. So now we're gonna check the disposal on the bottom to see if there's if there's something clogged in here. So by doing this, you have to use two screwdrivers, put them in the hole right here, and this one. to find the way how to do it sometimes right there clockwise you turn it clockwise and be careful because it might drop let's take a look Okay. 
Let's take a look if there's anything inside. Remember to disconnect the disposal to make sure that there's no, so you won't grind your fingers off. This, there's a little bit of garbage in here, but I don't see like there's rocks. Usually when somebody washes like a, like a fish tank and the water, you're washing the fish tank and rocks could fall in there. So you might see, you might find the rocks in there and that's the thing that's causing it to not grind. But I don't think this is a problem. So we're gonna put it back and I'm gonna show you guys how to fix all this. Cause you can see there's there's no rocks, there's nothing hard that is making it, so it must be inside the the motor. So I'm gonna show you guys how to fix it. Okay now you do counterclockwise and make sure it's tight in. This is there's gonna be like a rail right here, so this teeth has to get it right here. And check over here also. Make sure, give it a little tug, little wig. If it holds on, there's another teeth like this one right here. So make sure it slides perfectly counterclockwise, and start putting all the hoses back together all the way in, and tighten it. Make sure you tighten it well, or else you're gonna have leaks, water leaks. And also don't, don't over tighten it, just tighten it as much as you can. Give it a half a turn and that's it. It should not be leaking. All right, now we're gonna put this one in. This one you turn it counterclockwise this one right here make sure it's all the way in turn this one a little bit make sure this thing goes in Put all the bolts in. First, you have to like finger tighten it so you can line up the holes so you won't struggle to put it in. It might be a little bit tricky or slippery. Just make sure you you take your time. I'm already tightening both the bolts. I already got them to lined up. Don't don't tighten both all the way. Tighten one side first, and then the other side, so it could go even. So don't over tighten. Make sure everything's good. Also don't over tighten this so as much as you can as much as it goes and then stop. This one you tighten it clockwise. Also don't over tighten it just as much as you can. You don't want to crack a, 
the pipe. Make sure all the pipes are tightened as much as they can. This one you could tape by hand. I don't think you have to pressure it. We'll see right now if it starts leaking or not. Okay, I don't see any leaks. So we're already tightening it. So now what are we gonna do? We're gonna connect this sink garbage disposal. Make sure it's not wet. The plug-ins, the connector. Connect it back. So basically I don't think it's still gonna work. So we turn it on or well, maybe it did but what you could do if it, it doesn't work make sure you open the, the faucet and crank it clockwise like this see it kind of it was still has a little bit of not play like it wasn't it was still stuck in a way so before you turn it off, make sure you have the water running and then turn it on. So that means now it works. So if, if you still hear the humming sound after you checked it all, how I did it, make sure you crank it with this pry bar and just go hard. Go like this, clockwise. And make sure you turn the, the inside, make sure it spins. And before you turn it on, just do, go like this and turn on the faucet and then turn on the switch. So now we know that we did a good job and it's, it doesn't, the water goes, it doesn't stay right there no more. So make sure you're also before you start washing the dishes, Perfect. make sure you put this so nothing else will go inside. Make sure it goes in here. So. Little particles are gonna go still inside the little holes, but but it, it's more better to have this than not have than not have this, cause big things could fall in there, and you'll have the same problem all over again. So make sure to put this back. So now I know it works, and we did a good job. Thanks for watching.